In this video, I'll be comparing Cursor versus Klein and telling you which of these tools may be best for you and your needs. So I'll go over what exactly they do, who they are for, and ultimately which one I would pick. So first, let's go over their core concepts. So Cursor is an AI-first code editor built as a fork for Visual Studio Code. Its core concept is to provide a deeply integrated AI experience within a familiar local development environment, focusing on intelligent code completion, generation refactoring, and code base aware chat. It aims to be a powerful and all-encompassing AI pair programmer for professional developers. On the other hand, we have Klein, which is an open source AI powered coding assistant that runs as an extension within VS Code. Its fundamental concept is to act as an autonomous coding agent that can read and write across multiple files, execute commands, and interact with the browser, offering a more human-like collaborative experience with explicit user approval at each step. It emphasizes model flexibility and transparency. Now, in terms of target audiences for cursor, it's professional developers, teams and enterprises, and developers working on complex code bases, and then especially those already using VS Code and seeking to enhance their productivity with advanced and tightly integrated AI features. Now, client's target audience is developers seeking flexibility, so those who want to use various AI models, including local ones, and have more control over API costs, budget-conscious developers, because as an open-source option with transparent token-based pricing, it is pretty cheap, then developers who value transparency and control, and users comfortable with experimentation. So now I'll go over their strengths and weaknesses. First, Cursor's strengths are the deep AI integration, the code base wide understanding, the polished user experience, powerful features, and the privacy options. So it offers a privacy mode where code is never stored remotely. The limitations on Cursor are that it is a closed source product, which means less transparency compared to open source alternatives such as Klein, the cost, so the advanced features and access to powerful AI models often come with a subscription fee, which can be higher than some alternatives, and there is a learning curve. Then Klein's strengths are the autonomous agent capabilities, the model flexibility and control, transparency and user approval, terminal and browser interaction, and finally that it is open source. The limitations on Klein include performance with large files, context management challenges, setup complexity, a less polished user interface compared to Cursor, and the cost variability. So which one should you pick, Cursor or Klein? I would go with Cursor if you are a professional developer seeking the most integrated and powerful AI experience within a familiar VS Code-like environment. Also, if you work on complex projects and need an AI that deeply understands your entire codebase, for intelligent generation, refactoring, and debugging. If you value a polished, fast, and reliable AI-first IDE with a strong feature set for individual productivity and team collaboration via Git, and if you are comfortable with a subscription model for advanced AI capabilities, I would also go with Cursor. Now, I would choose Klein if you prefer an open source solution that offers greater transparency and control over AI models and API usage, if you want an AI agent that can actively create, edit, and interact with your development environment beyond just code suggestions, if you are a developer who values a human-in-the-loop approach, reviewing and approving every significant AI action, and finally, if you need flexibility in choosing AI providers and managing your own API costs, potentially using local models. So that concludes this comparison of Cursor versus Klein. If this comparison helped you make a decision, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.